In this presentation, we are going to see the challenge associated with implementation of power electronics controls on embedded processor. So the hardware which we are using today is a DC to DC LED kit from Texas Instrument and the control card is C28035. The challenge is to reduce the development time in implementation of the algorithm on the embedded hardware and the solution is to verify the controller for various test cases using simulation and then generate code from MATLAB and Simulink models optimized for the embedded controller. Let's see how this challenge is addressed in detail. This is the DC to DC CEPIC converter with voltage mode control and we have done our exercise already in tuning the PI gains of the controller. Now I can do various scenarios and see how the controller is performing. For example, I can give a cyclic load over here and see how my voltage response looks like. Similarly, you can do various other tests and see how the controller is performing. Once you have verified the performance of the controller, the next step is implementation of the controller onto an embedded processor. If you have embedded coder license, you can download the hardware support package which is very specific to C2000 processor. Once you have downloaded and installed target support package, you will get a library browser blocks which looks like this. And here you can see that you've got the driver layer for all these different uh, C2000 processor and also certain optimized blocks available for specific processor for math operation and things like that. Certain algorithms like Park Transform, Clark Transform, the PID controller in itself is available as a block. So essentially, I can replace my algorithm which was in terms of gains by the optimized blocks over here which I've taken from target support package and I can use this ADC block and PWM block which I've taken from target support package library. So essentially I've got both the driver layer and the application layer in one single mod. Now I can go ahead and generate code and see how the code generation looks like. So for this, before deploying it into the hardware, I just want to generate code only and show you how it looks like. So at this moment, I'll just generate code only. So the moment I've got the model ready, I can click on this build button and this will generate C code in a specific folder. You'll also see that in a while, you'll get a HTML report which looks like this. So you can observe that I can move from my code to my model and vice versa. And by, by doing this, you can essentially understand how your model is generated as a code over here. I'll go ahead and remove the uh, opt code generation only setting and then choose the Code Composer Studio toolchain. So what it means is now when I'm connecting the hardware and generating code, it will not only generate code for my driver layer and application layer, but it will also invoke Code Composer Studio and deploy the executable onto the actual processor. And additionally, if I have external mode, I can tune certain parameters from my model. Let's now generate code and deploy onto the processor. This is how the final implementation looks like. I've used simulation to accurately tune the PI gains and I'm now running the model in external mode, which means I'm generating the code, deploying the same onto the microprocessor and also have access to certain parameters which I can tune from the model in real time. In this case, I can change the reference voltage and increase the brightness of the LED strip and see how my controller is performing. I can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness of these individual LED strips and see how my controller is performing. So to summarize the presentation, we saw how you can address the challenge in reducing the development time by generating C code from the models onto a TI controller. 